I want to give you a tour of the standard notes note type system. Note types allow you to edit a note using an editor that works specifically for the content you're trying to create. And it's quite simple. So there's a few options you have when starting out. The most basic option is to just create a new note and begin typing. The plain text editor is absolutely plain. There's no rich text, there's no bold, there's no highlighting, there's no colors, there's no images, there's no bullets. It is the built-in native system editor that comes on all operating systems. And to us, it's one line of code that we embed into our application that allows this editor to come into being. It's just fundamental web technology. And that's a feature because it means that it's sort of the indestructible editor that will never ever have any bugs or issues or regressions or new features. You can always count on it to do exactly what you see, which is just plain text. And this is sort of the foundation of standard notes. But a lot of times you want to do more. You want to insert images. You want to create bulleted lists. You want to insert tables, videos, spreadsheets. And you can do all that with standard notes. And I'm going to show you how. This is the note type menu. And here you can see that we have a few different options for how to edit your note. And by default, it's plain text. Then you have Super, which is a fairly recent release, but a very powerful editor that we're really excited about. It's sort of the future for us, and it supports things like embedded encrypted images and tables and bulleted lists and nested bulleted lists, find and replace. It's really cool, and, and we'll showcase all of that. You have rich text, which is kind of like your standard editor that you're kind of used to from other note-taking apps where it's HTML backed. Uh, you could do things like highlighting and, and font sizes, things like that. Markdown, checklist, code, spreadsheet, authenticator. We're going to go through all of them. This is the demo account. You can access this demo yourself at standardnotes.com slash demo. And let's start with, let's, let's get to super last. And we'll start with the to-do editor because uh, it's that simple. The to-do editor, or rather the checklist note type is a very simple linear flat list of tasks you want to get done and once you complete them you can check them off and so if I want to create a new task such as record a video press enter and then you'll see that your tasks are just listed out here and you can organize them and drag and drop them and once you complete you can check it off it'll come into the completed tasks and in the description here in the note preview, you can get a little summary of, of pending tasks and, and what you have coming up. Just a quick note that th you can see that this preview is a little big. Um, it can occupy a lot of real estate. If you want to hide that for this note, you can just untoggle the show preview and you'll see it'll hide it. If you want to hide previews for all notes, you can do that over here by toggling this option, which will turn off all previews. Next is the spreadsheet editor. This is really cool. It's a really powerful, fully fledged spreadsheet editor with formulas, uh, formatting. Here we have a, a complete budget that tracks uh, our, our personal budget and all of this is calculated. So you can see that this is sum based. This is a formula. It's a really powerful spreadsheet software. This is available for you to use. Keep in mind, of course, that it's all encrypted. It's all private. Any editor, no matter which one you use, saves to your standard notes account and it's always private. It's always end-to-end -end encrypted, regardless of what note type you choose. Next, we have the authenticator. Now, this is really cool if you know what you're looking at. Typically, for services like Gmail or GitHub, you can enable two-factor authentication and they have you scan a QR code and they tell you to use some kind of authenticator app, let's say Google Authenticator or something similar. You could actually use standard notes as your authenticator app and that's really cool because you won't lose all your tokens when you get a new device for example with google authenticator you'll, you'll just lose all your data once you restore your device from backup or upgrade your phone or something here your tokens are always in your device in your account they're backed up and you can access your tokens and get new tokens so th this is the 30 second countdown you get a new token for all your services you can access this on your mobile phone access on your desktop, you can access it on the web app. So it's really cool, it's really handy. This is one of my favorite note types. You can also specify a password. So if I click on this code, it'll copy, it. you'll see a copied value to clipboard. And if I click on the password, you can copy that. Um, you can reorder entries around, you can give them a unique color. Um, 
So that's the authenticator. You can access it here. Next, let's go with one of the markdown. So this is your basic markdown editor. Really powerful. Once again, let me disable spell check on this note because it's sort of lorem ipsum text. You can do headers. You can do uh, strike through italics, block quotes, lists, uh, code, and a few different features here. You can enable uh, side by side with render mode. Uh, you can toggle preview mode. You can insert tables. And so what's cool about this markdown editor is you can type the raw markdown as you're used to, or you could just highlight text and select in the toolbar if you want to bold it or convert into a quote. Let's look at the code editor. Now the code editor is pretty simple, um, probably in dev, here we go. Um, so you'll see I have a few snippets here. I, I can choose the language and you can see, I, I think it's about, it's gotta be over a hundred languages. It, it supports syntax highlighting for, so you can see the different sort of sort of snippets that I've gathered throughout the years. Um, and th th personally, this is a demo account, but this is what I use standard notes a lot for, is just hanging on to snippets that I need to refer to often. That takes us to our most important editor, which is the super editor or the super note type. And this is our flagship premium editor. And this does it all. You can do just about anything. And this is a block-based editor. And so you can see if you hover over a line, you can sort of move things around. And, and so let's reorder, let's, let's say we want to move this um, list item to be under this one, you just drag and drop and it'll reorder them around. You can link other notes directly inside of the editor. So here we are linking to benefits of water and crispy carrots, there's some notes we have. And we can also link to tags. You can link anything to anything um, with standard notes. So you can see this menu here. Let's say you want to link a file you can link uh, other notes, files, other tags. So you can create a like, uh, sort of network of notes. So super is really cool. The primary method, there's no toolbar. Well, there is actually. If you double click text, it'll bring up this inline toolbar that allows you to bold, um, subscript, superscript, code, um, convert something into a list. But the pri primary mechanism by which you'll interact with this editor is via the forward slash autocomplete. And with that, you can insert just about anything, um, a paragraph, a heading, tables, quotes, code, the current time and date. So I can press this, it'll insert the current time. It's very useful for journaling. Um, the current date and time will create this cool little sectioned uh, style. You can even generate a cryptographically secure password. And to do that, you just type in password and it'll generate a password. You can choose the length that you want to generate passwords with. Let's type the forward slash, type in a number, let's say 58, and it'll generate a 58 character cryptographically secure random password that's safe to use anywhere that you would typically use a password manager with. There are shortcuts, so you don't have to always access the menu. If you type in a dash and space, you'll create a list. If you tab, it'll indent the list and you can indent even more and this is really powerful for outlining and taking notes if you type brackets and space it'll create a checklist and you can check off the tasks to complete them so it's really cool you can t so it has a sort of markdown autocomplete so if you type a hash symbol and then space you'll see a header Typically, most uh, markdown syntaxes will auto-convert. I think it should do bold. So if you do this, well, that's italic. Um, maybe this is bold. Or is it double? Uh, bold. There you go. And uh, code snippet. So inline code. So let's say foo. That'll convert it to some code. Um, you, I th I'm not sure if you'll be able to do uh, triple code style. Uh, that might be a little too much, but you should be able to insert a code block. Let's see, code, there you go. And then you'll have uh, foo bar, and you'll see it numbered, uh, your lines of code. So this is really cool. You can even have collapsible sections. There you go. And a collapsible block has a title and content that you want to collapse, and you can collapse it like so and when you come back to the note it'll remember its collapse state and this is really useful for creating sections 
um, within your note that you want to um, hide and show on demand. Now to, l to insert images, this is really cool, type the at symbol and here you'll bring up the linking menu and here you can link up images, tags and other notes. Um, let's insert this image of this doggy and this is a file that lives in your standard notes account. This is not a remote image. This is your image that's encrypted in your standard notes account. And what's happening here is actually the image is being decrypted and then embedded in this editor locally. And you're seeing it here. And it's uh, this is a took us a long time to finally build this feature, maybe almost six years because of the difficulty that encryption poses. Um, but it's here and it's awesome. Um, you can embed videos. So let's see what's a good video city flight I don't know how big these are right now it's a relatively big video it should load here loading perfectly in the node and um, so it's a really powerful editor to create all sorts of documents so that's super oh uh, brand new feature that we recently released is find and replace so you can now search within the note this is actually the only editor or note type that supports in note searching um, so the pl you can't in note uh, search with the plain text editor for example but with this one you can and it's wonderful um, so let's search for space and you can see we have some results here you can uh, replace it with something you can toggle case sensitivity that's the super note type it's super cool super powerful all of this works on mobile on your iPhone on your Android device all the images will load all the videos will load um, you can even drag and drop Let's say you have a, a file on your desktop, you can drag and drop it. It'll embed it in your, in your note. It'll upload it to your account with end-to-end -end encryption, everything you'd expect from standard notes. So that's a super note type. And that about covers it. You can expect that most of our effort, development effort, will go into super in the near future. A lot of the other editors will probably be superseded by super. For example, you could, you could do code in super. You could do checklists in super. You can kind of do markdown in super. Um, spreadsheets and Authenticator are very specialized, so they'll continue to live on their own. But super is sort of the future for us, and uh, we're really excited about its development and getting it out, and, and we've received such great feedback from our community, and uh, you should definitely check it out. I, I should add that all of these note types, except for plain text, are part of our premium subscription. So out of the box for free, you do get a lot of features like plain text and, and unlimited notes and unlimited devices. But if you want the super rich text markdown and, and authenticator and spreadsheets, that is part of our subscription plan, which I, I hope you get I, and I hope you enjoy it and um, I hope you get a lot of value out of it. So that's, that's an overview of our editor and note type system. I, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord, sandernotes.com slash Discord. Send an email to our help team at help at sandernotes.com or comment in the video. Thanks.